WHDD presents Susan Says. One of the most important and meaningful tweets I ever saw said, if you wonder what you would have done during the Holocaust, you're doing it now. And that applies today more than ever. We are witnessing a new genocide, hopefully not to become a full-fledged Holocaust. The Russian invasion of the Ukraine without any reason other than to satisfy a deranged dictator is so awful and made more so in that we can watch it every day on TV, horrible, but necessary to watch. We can't pretend it's not happening. We can't say we didn't know. So what are we, you and I, doing? Bethany Frankel, otherwise controversial, sometimes off-putting ex-housewife of New York, is a hero now. She has started a charity to help with immigration and has raised $35 million dollars. It's called Be Strong. You can donate. It helps people escape and then follows up with support to all the countries taking them in, two million immigrants so far. It's organized, totally transparent. 100% of the money raised goes to the charity. She's a business whiz. She's using those skills. Bravo. Other charities are focusing on many specific niches. They're available. I'm donating to help Jews in the Ukraine. You can donate through the Red Cross, Christians Helping, your choice, any number of them. Please do it. But you can also speak out. I've recently taken to Facebook to ask, no, to tell my dear friends, some of them I really know, some only on the site, stop posting silly, inconsequential stuff like what you're eating. Yeah, You know, we're living in a most dangerous time since World War II. You can't be concerned with silly, superficial things, can you? Please don't. Call your congressperson. Post pictures of the horrors. A little boy was shown walking alone, sobbing. He was about six, and I just lost it. I couldn't get it out of my mind. I posted it on Twitter, and thankfully others who had seen him found out he had been found by some relatives. Thank God for the Internet. Use it. Speak out, fight, this is what you must do. And yeah, if you have gasoline costs going up, I'm sorry, but you have a place to live. Friends who are not dead and starving. We can handle that for a bit. We must make the sacrifice. Please say we can. Even in war, there are rules. Militaries fight militaries, but these Russians are attacking schools, hospitals, orphanages, civilians, war crimes. Learn from history so we don't repeat it. I feel for the Russian people. They've suffered over the years. They're not aware of the truth. The media is controlled, constant lies. Their captured soldiers were shocked to find out what the truth was. They were told it was a Nazi takeover, a maneuver. Ukrainians had a mixed history during the Holocaust. They've evolved to the point where they are the least anti-Semitic country in Europe. They have a Jewish president who's a real hero. All these Ukrainian refugees, help them learn, understand, pay attention. Remember, what you would have done in the first Holocaust is what you are doing now. Susan Silver was one of the original writers of such TV classics as The Mary Tyler Moore Show, Maud and Bob Newhart. She lectures and teaches sitcom writing and had a column on the New York Social Diary called The Search for Mr. Adequate. She hasn't found him yet. Appearing on TV and radio often, she expresses her views on life and opinions on everything.